What's your name? Eloise Bridgerton. Pleased to meet you, Miss Eloise. I'm Theo Sharp. I know. You know. As I know, there are several errors in your arguments that I must bring to your attention. Have you a pencil? Never mind. You may borrow mine. Look at that look there. Wasn't that so good? Good morning, Callum. How are you doing? Morning, I'm really well. How are you? Come here, you were cast in one of the most successful shows that we have seen, like, in recent times. It's so hugely successful. But Theo wasn't actually in the book. So when did you know you were going to become a part of the Bridgerton family? So it was, it was crazy. I got cast before the first series came out. So I knew... I, I actually auditioned for two parts in the first series, so I knew the series existed, but I didn't know that it was going to be the phenomenon that it became. So I, I, I was cast and I got to watch the first series air and see that I was going to be part of something slightly different to, to what I'd first thought. But yeah, in a way, I quite liked that there was no source material because then I could just talk to Chris, the showrunner, about what the character would be without having to refer to like a third party book and we could, we could create Theo together. So you were cast for season two before season one aired, is that right? So, so you must be watching season one going, oh my, I am joining an absolute yeah. massive success here. I mean, was that nerve wracking or was that just so exciting knowing that you're going to be a part of such a huge show? Yeah, it was really exciting. It was exciting. I mean, I was told when I was cast not to tell anyone. I was like, fine, I won't, you know, maybe a couple of my friends will watch this. It's a period drama. I don't <laughs> think that many of my friends are into period dramas. And then suddenly, I mean, I just didn't keep it a secret at all. I told everyone I knew because um, they were watching it. So you're like, I'm going to yeah, be, it was, it was I'm going to be in that, guys. That's I'm going to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we've spoken to Nicola Coughlin before and Nicola has been like, oh, no, I have to keep everything a secret. I can't tell anyone. Oh, she was so good at keeping secrets. You obviously. No, nah, <laughs> I'm just going to let everyone know. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I was good at keeping. Um, like I knew, for example, I knew I knew that my story would be mainly with Eloise, but that I kept secret. But luckily, they they announced me I think in like February, so there was only like a month long period where any of my friends could have lost my friendship and talked to the press, um, and they didn't. So okay. good for them. Well, so at least yeah. uh, your friends are keeping their mouths shut, mm. not quite you. I mean, we talked about Nicola Coughlin there as well. Um, was, is it true that, because you work together on Dairy Girls, so did she get wind that you're going to join the show? And I believe she actually added you to the whole cast WhatsApp group. She did, yeah, she was really great. Because we yeah, we only spent like a day together on Dairy Girls, but we kept in touch. And then I, I didn't know if I could tell Nicola, for example, like I didn't want to... I thought that would be maybe crossing a line when I got cast to tell people who were in the show already, so I didn't. But then Nicola messaged me like two months later or something, before I'd been announced, but when we'd started doing fittings because she saw my picture in the makeup trailer. So she, she obviously figured out that I was in it. And yeah, she added me to the WhatsApp group and everyone was very lovely and welcoming. And it was great because it was COVID, I didn't meet people. So, I mean, like Johnny and Simone, I didn't meet properly until we had a cast screening almost when we finished okay. shooting. So it was nice to have that introduction because we weren't all getting yeah. to hang out loads of loads on set like you usually would, you know. And what's the WhatsApp group like? Yeah, Is it kind of like sitting there going, oh my God, we're the best Netflix show and then all of a sudden <laughs> that show from South Korea is beating us. What are we going to do next year? Squid Games, um, what? It's, uh, it's lovely. It's a really, it's a really supportive... Um, it's just people like loving each other, you know. It's it's people bigging up each other's achievements and um, talking about what was for lunch on set. You know, it's not um, it's not high drama. It's not it's not like the show, unfortunately. Ah, oh, I was thinking it was going to be this. Lots of gas. I'll drop you guys in there and you can create. Sure, yeah. Oh, please do. Yes, I'd Tommy Bow, gossip monger. <laughs>